All right, guys. So I actually found out how to win in SMA. So I actually started my agency journey just over a year ago at zero dollars, obviously, uh, just over a year ago, dropped out of university, went all in, and I essentially ended up in a Dubai penthouse just over a month ago. We moved in there and now we actually flew to Cape Town uh, a few weeks ago. At, we literally booked flights at midnight. We flew at like six in the morning on a random day. And now I don't even know what day of the weekend is because I don't really believe in days of the weekend anymore, but I think it's like a Friday, something like that. And essentially, the only reason I'm actually able to do all this stuff is because of the stuff I'm actually going to talk in the video right now today. And if you guys don't watch the whole video and you don't understand the things we're going to talk about in the video, you're never ever going to hit 10K per month in the first place. So I'm pretty much going to show you guys all the stuff that I've learned along my journey that actually enabled me to do this stuff. More importantly, things that I actually did at the start that actually enabled me to scale so, so fast, right? Because I know too many guys who have been trying to scale so, so, so hard for years. I actually was talking to this other guy about uh, a few days ago, and he made a post in the community I was in, right? And he said it took him two years to hit 10K a month, right? And it only took me uh, three months, right? Which was honestly pretty fast. So essentially, I'm actually going to pretty much lay out all the sauce and that like literally allows me to do all the stuff, right? We're going to be going, taking private jets on to safaris pretty soon. Uh, I think next week, actually. Also be hunting from helicopters pretty soon. And it's uh, it, it's essentially like a dream life, right? This is an absolute dream. It just feels like life isn't real, right? I have no idea what day of the week it is. And we're just doing whatever we want. Just all right. This is the video that I'm probably going to play in my future YouTube video when I make it. So uh, that'd be so sick just to like work remotely in like Cape Town and just go like traveling. It's just crazy how life how fast life can actually happen to you, right? And in obviously in a good way, right? But when it rains, it pours. And I've had multiple moments in my journey where it was pouring, but in a really, really bad way, right? Because I literally went through this one phase of my journey where I was literally, it was one week, right? And I literally lost all of my clients, all my paid clients in one week. And then I was also this exact same time, I was going through a phase of, I had 60 sales calls that had were telling me just no. All in a row of just 60 sales calls. It was honestly probably the most hardest time of my life. I literally asked myself, there's no way this is actually how hard, how hard life's supposed to be, right? Because people at that moment, most guys will just give up, right? Doesn't matter how many times it fail and get like knocked down. I just keep on having to push through because that's like actually how you get successful. It really depends on the person, but most guys will just give up, right? And that's actually leads me to my first point is persistency. The only way to lose in this game is if you quit, right? You essentially automatically win if you just never quit and you never give up, right? Now, before you click off the video, I'm actually going to talk about a lot of other topics and a lot of our stories actually help me scale very fast, right? Right now, we're actually staying in a crazy villa. You guys already know, but one of the guys, he's literally doing like 400k a month right now. It's absolutely insane. And it actually enables me to network and he's going to introduce other guys, stuff like that. But Anyways, little side note, kind of just want to give you guys some context on the build. But the main thing I actually did at the start that actually enabled me to scale pretty fast and also like learn pretty fast uh, was literally just understanding, okay, these guys in the community, then in the course that I was in, or even my mentor, et cetera, but let's say these guys in the community, they obviously know something that I don't know. And these people who are at 50K, 100K a month, et cetera, right? All right. They obviously know something that I don't know. So I'm just going to isolate that thing that they know, learn it, and then just use it in my business and just scale from there, right? I was literally just going around asking everyone. Uh, okay, what niche is good? What average system is good? How did you scale? What were the things that you helped you scale so fast? Uh, I'll pay you $100 or $200 get on a one hour Zoom call with you. Could you do this? Could you do that? Blah, blah, blah. Right? That actually helps you scale so fast because you're essentially able to like quantum leap into their knowledge, right? Because someone on a $500 million yacht in Dubai, they obviously know something that I don't know. So I'm just going to isolate the thing that they know, learn it, and then obviously get there. Now, there's obviously a lot more context. It's more about networking, uh, biz like time in the business, stuff like that. But some more bigger plays now on are just essentially going on dinners with guys who are doing massive numbers. So, for example, I actually just invited Serge Guattari on a dinner uh, a few nights ago. He's doing, I think, 500K a month right now. And now I'm just able to get like a free uh, one hour consulting, essentially, over a dinner. There's also like 20 other guys there, but I co-hosted it in Cape Town. But like, but now I'm just able to like literally just learn anything I want and ask him any single question I have. And he's going to answer it. Right. The power of that is worth probably tens of thousands of dollars. Right. Obviously, these are more long-term plays, so I'm going to get into more the more short-term plays now, at least when you're first starting out. Now, another thing I want you guys to do is literally just be absolutely delusional, right? So essentially, at the start, you're kind of like breaking society's constructs and whole paradigms of what it is to live life, right? Everyone that I know and everyone's paradigm was so fucked that they think that they could just are just going to work a 9-to-5 the rest of their life. Like, I feel like I think so much differently than other people, and I'm like very, very grateful for that. 
that I could, that I'm on this journey right now and, like, actually open up my perspective to think, like, fuck. Like, everyone's going down this path of going to the 9 to 5. I need to escape right now. This is, like, the chance to do it. So, I'm taking that chance. And I'm going to escape. And not do stuff like this, right? That's absolutely insane. Like I said, no idea what day of the week it is. We actually went on road biking earlier today. And we're just going out tonight as well. Going for another steak dinner. Like, I just no idea what day of the week it is. It's just like a flow state, right? When you first start out, you have to be extremely, extremely delusional. Because you're pretty much breaking society's constructs of what it means to actually live life, right? People are just going to bring you down so, so, so hard. They're going to tell you, oh, no, you seem to work in at five. This business isn't going to work. I had so many family members tell me that, or like not family members, but family friends tell me that it wasn't going to work. And, oh, when are you going to go back to university? All this stuff. And most of that was actually like to my face, but it was also a lot behind my back, right? They're telling my parents, they're telling my dad specifically, it's probably not going to work. Like, when is it going to go back to university? And then now, once I see the results, I <laughs> mean, you know, live in Dubai, all this stuff. They obviously have changed their mind, right? And I also had multiple friends switch up on me as well. At the start, I was at a dinner and one of them just called me out. It's like, this is like when I was like only making a few K a month. It's like, oh, how much revenue are you doing, Eric? Like a year, like in front of everyone. And I just obviously didn't say anything. But then I saw him about uh, a few months later after I saw all the, you know, Dubai stuff. And now he's like, bro, I really appreciate it. Like, I really respect what you're doing. You're traveling a lot. Like, I, I want to like, you're really inspirational. And now it's like, Wow, you just switch up super, super hard. But I mean, I'm not complaining. You can't really do much about it, right? Now, the next thing, which also kind of ties into the delusion part is mainly just like about the four minute mile, right? Because I'm sure you guys know about the four minute mile. It's essentially a thing that happened where the four minute mile was not broken forever in, let's say, years. I actually don't know the exact time frame, but let's just say years. Now, one person actually broke it. And then the exact same week or a few days later, multiple people broke it again, right? So I was actually talking to a guy and on the community I was with, and they said it took him two years to 10K month, right? I'm very, very confident in his mind, he thought it was going to take him two years. Now, that's the reason it took him two years. Now, when I was first starting out, I literally was so delusional that I thought it was going to take me 30 days, right? But what is delusion? Like, it's kind of hard to actually rate that when it comes to agency stuff, right? But the reason I was actually able to scale so fast was because I was so delusional, right? I literally thought it was going to take me 30 days. And even if it didn't take me 30 days, because it took me like 90 days, that benefited me to be delusional. Because if I thought it was going to take me a year, I would have taken a year, right? Because at least for me, when I was, you know, in uh, in uh, school, like the university, like the Matrix, uh, the prison camps, you guys already know, but <laughs> I, I was literally like, I would I would be that guy who would hand in the assignment uh, exactly on the day it was due, right? I would take weeks and then just finish on the day it was due. Exact same thing here, right? If you are going to tell yourself, okay, it's going to take me two years, it's literally going to take you two years. All right, so the next thing you guys actually have to go into an extreme, extreme nightmare mode, right? So when I was actually first starting out, on September 1st, 2022, it's now about uh, February, 2024. I went into probably one of the most extreme and craziest parts of my life, right? It wasn't actually crazy. I guess it was kind of crazy, but I essentially cut off absolutely everyone. I didn't talk to anyone for three months. I broke up with my long-term girlfriend. I stopped talking to my friends. I deleted Instagram. I threw out any food that wasn't whole in the house. I went to the gym every day. I was meditating. I was doing cold plunges. I was swimming in the, the cold rivers, all that stuff. I was doing absolutely everything I could to kill off the old version of myself, right? Because this is essentially a stage in your life where it's one time in your life where you completely kill off the old version of yourself and essentially transcend into this new person, right? That's kind of the whole nightmare mode and what it all means to do, right? And once you do this, you're going to change your life forever, right? I would honestly recommend anyone or I would honestly recommend this to absolutely everyone who's doing uh, SMA. Right, so for the first three to four months of your SMA journey, I want you guys to go into a nightmare mode. So after this three to four months, you're essentially probably gonna hit 10K a month if you listen to stuff I say in the video. And then I want you to start traveling, but not travel alone, travel with other entrepreneurs on the exact same path as you, right? Because that's exactly what I did. I started traveling with Nick Setting and also Jordan at Fogel, uh, who you guys might know as well. But from there, we literally went to Portugal and then went to Greece. Uh, you guys already know the whole story. And then a bunch of other places, Colombia, Bali, Miami, and then Dubai. Cape Town, Dubai again, and then yeah, that's that's kind of the whole story, right? We also went to Poland, ran night in Dubai as well. 
But once you do this, you're essentially going to create a mastermind, right? A mastermind isn't really these online stuff. A mastermind is essentially a group of two or more individuals who create a third mind, right? One plus one equals three in this case scenario, right? Because now I'm actually able to get access to Nick's network and also Jordan's network. And they're also, get, they're also gonna get access to my network as well, right? For example, I introduced William Brown to Jordan and Jordan literally made 50K in a single day just because of William Brown's advice, right? This was actually months ago when we were in uh, Portugal and Greece. Now, William also made about 17K total because he one-on-one -on -one coaching plus mastermind upsell. And from that, William Brown saw the value that I provided to him. So he actually decided to invite me onto his yacht in Dubai, which I then met a bunch of other guys like Mike Thurston, CEO of Testosterone, Andrew Kirby, which I also met at dinner before that from Charlie Morgan. And from there, I'm actually able to leverage that in my personal brand and also just ask them absolutely anything I want, right? Because now, essentially, I could just ask these guys who are doing a few hundred K a month any question, right? That's so, so, so powerful. And from there, you're just able to just scale extremely, extremely fast, right? I've literally made 100K off one thing that Andrew Kirby told me just because I networked, right? It's very, very easy to do this. But I'm not going to talk too much about networking. I'm actually going to make another video about networking recently about Cape Town and Dubai stories, uh, more, more recent ones. But one more thing I'm actually going to talk about here, and this is actually probably the most important part, is you guys have to realize that 10K month is literally the easiest thing on the planet to actually hit, right? Now, this is coming from someone who's obviously doing 100K month. And I know some guys are probably going to say, oh, you're at 100K month. You have no idea what it feels to be at zero. Well, I do actually. I was there a year ago. And now I know that 10K month is extremely easy. So if you guys think that 10K month is hard, it's essentially your subconscious is going to essentially able to manifest actions, habits, beliefs, and thoughts in a way which will never even lead you to 10K month in the first place, right? Because if you guys think 10K month is easy, then your actions, beliefs, thoughts, all the stuff will manifest in a certain way, which will actually be able to bring you there extremely, extremely fast. Now, another thing is actually, you guys have to be hitting the volume, right? If you guys are just like, okay, I'm gonna do 20 cold calls today, uh, you're, you're probably not gonna make it, right? 10K month is actually relatively super, super easy when it comes to KPIs. Only you only really need to do like 3,000 cold calls, let's say, right? Which is only 100 cold calls every single day for 30 days straight. That's honestly so light work because if you think about it, right? Okay, let's say you're selling a 2K offer and you need five clients at 10K month. Now, in order to get five clients, you need to have, let's say, even at a 10% close rate, let's say 50 sales calls on your calendar lined up, right? And let's say to get those 50 sales calls showed up, you need even, let's say, a 50% show up rate, right? So you need 100 sales calls total, right? right? And in order to get 100 sales calls on your calendar, all you really need to do is, let's say you have a 3.33% booking rate, right? All you need to do now is literally just do 3,000 cold calls and you're there, right? Okay, back in the day, I had like a 10% booking rate, wow, which was crazy. Like at a dial, so if I dial 100 numbers, I would just get 10 meetings. But honestly, that's main, main, main thing is just thinking that it's easy and just do the actual volume, right? My mentor literally told me to do 250 cold calls a day and I was doing those, right? absolutely insane numbers, but it was honestly worth it. Now, the last thing I need you guys to do is to get a mentor. Now, I'm going to be honest, I am selling a mentorship program, a one-on-one -on -one mentorship. But if I did not have a mentor at the start, I would not even be close to where I am now. I know a lot of other YouTubers will kind of just try to trick their audience into thinking certain things to sell them something, but I'm being extremely honest here, right? Charlie had a mentor, Sam Evans had a mentor, I had a mentor. Everyone that I knew who is successful had a mentor, and they do have mentors right now. Because essentially, when you have a mentor, you're able to like quantum leap into their whole perspective and just ask them any single question you need all the time, right? That's so, so powerful because I know so many guys in communities and courses that joined. For example, I actually know one guy who I also mentored and he was in for 12 months, right? And he was trying to scale so, so hard and he actually scaled up to like 3K a month. He actually dropped down to 1K a month. And then at the time that we joined, I started mentoring him. He was at 1K a month. And then we got on a call. I fixed a bunch of stuff, helped his mindset, made, made a few hires. I built out a bunch of systems. We did a lot, a lot of stuff. And then 13 days later, he hits 10K per month, right? So after being in a course for an entire year, stuck at 1K per month, and then joins a mentorship program. Doesn't have to be me, but it was me. And he hits 10K a month 13 days later, right? That's so, so, so powerful because the course is good. It's just like a mentor will just tell you what you need to know in every single case scenario. So, and I've actually taken too many guys to like 10K, 20K, 30K months right now, right? Right. I actually have five mentees right now that are full time traveling, all doing 20K, 30K, 40K a month. Right. Two guys in Morocco doing 15K a month. Uh, one guy in Greece doing 40K a month. You guys might know him, Joseph. Uh, one guy in Colombia doing 20K a month. And also one guy in Mexico doing 30K a month. Right. 
absolutely insane. And also, some are actually going to fly out to uh, Cape Town here to see me as well, which is honestly pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's essentially it. If you guys do want to join, just DM me on Instagram at eric or at eric.cavlars. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Appreciate you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see some of you guys on Cape Town. Also, message me if anyone's here. I'd love to uh, meet up as well. But yeah, take care, guys. And I'll, I'll see you soon.